In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to link Outlook with Teams, a straightforward process that will take us only about five minutes. This integration can greatly enhance your efficiency, allowing for seamless communication and scheduling within your workflow. So let's dive right in and walk through the steps together. First things first, let's head over to the Outlook website. If you're not familiar with how to do this, simply open up your preferred web browser and type in Microsoft 365 Outlook login into the search bar. You should see the official Microsoft Outlook link at the top of your search results. Click on it and this should take you directly to the Outlook login page. Now that we're on the Outlook login page, the next step is to sign in. Make sure you click on the sign in button, which you should see prominently displayed on the page. Enter your Microsoft account credentials, that's your email and password. If you happen to face any difficulties logging in, double check your email and password for any typos or try resetting your password through the forgot password option. Once you've successfully logged in, you'll be directed to your Outlook inbox. Next, within your Outlook dashboard, navigate to the mail section. This is where your emails are managed and it's likely the first page you'll see once logged in. We'll be integrating Teams from here. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with the layout if you're new to the platform. On the mail page, you'll notice various icons lined up in the navigation bar on the left hand side or top bar, depending on your version of Outlook. Among these icons, locate the Teams icon. It should be situated near the Meet Now option. The icon resembles two people with a T in front, typical for Microsoft Teams. When you spot it, go ahead and click on it. This is an essential step as it will bridge Outlook with Teams by taking you directly to the Teams interface. The final part of our process involves heading over to the actual Teams application or web browser version depending on your setup. You can access Teams by simply clicking on Teams through your Microsoft 365 dashboard or if you have the desktop application, open it directly from your device. Make sure you're signed in with the same account as your Outlook to ensure the integration is seamless. With Teams open, you now have both platforms linked, allowing you to schedule meetings directly from your Outlook calendar and manage them in Teams. This integration means whenever you want to set up a meeting from an email or coordinate with your colleagues, you can do it all in one place without the hassle of switching back and forth between applications. To summarize, you've logged into Outlook, accessed the mail section, clicked on the Teams icon and opened Microsoft Teams. Everything should be functioning harmoniously now, simplifying your task of organizing meetings and communicating through both platforms efficiently. If you're ever unsure or run into any issues, don't hesitate to revisit these steps. Microsoft also provides a wealth of resources and support to troubleshoot more specific problems you might encounter. And that's all there is to linking Outlook with Teams. Quick, straightforward and incredibly useful for anyone who relies on these powerful productivity tools. Thanks for joining me today. I hope this guide was easy to follow and has helped streamline your workflow. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to leave a comment and I'll be happy to assist. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more handy tips and tech tutorials. Happy scheduling and until next time.